Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Creator on Wheels. I'm Shiv, and I hope you guys are doing happy and healthy. It's been a while, isn't it? I just realized that um, it's been a while since I made uh, any video about the car, or uh, I realized that there isn't any video from inside my car, hence this new setup. So I thought, like, let me try out a few things uh, when it comes to. Uh, making uh, videos from the car uh, so I'm just trying out one particular mounting option which is right in front of me uh, and I'm trying to see how well it works up and uh, most importantly this is a trial video uh, this isn't anything serious and um, probably I'll see this perspective and I'll try to mount it on the front windscreen also um, I'm just waiting for my uh, suction mount to arrive because the previous one what I had I kind of, I don't know if I lost it or I misplaced it somewhere. So this is the one which is there right on top of my dash. Uh, the topic about today's video is uh, something about this car. Now when I go back to my YouTube comments um, section in the YouTube studio, quite a lot of comments uh, I get are on my car videos and most comments are related to comparing the Nissan Kicks with some other equally competitive cars like uh, Kia Sonnet, Kia Seltos or Magnite and uh, things like that. Um, there is no more Duster now. Uh, Renault has stopped the production of uh, Duster officially. So I I just wanted to tell you my uh, perspective uh, for, and why I picked up this car and what was my research and uh, how, how does this play with other competitors. Uh, one key thing about uh, this particular car is that when I picked up this car, uh, Kia was um, introduced uh, into the Indian market but their Seltos was not yet available on road. So uh, Seltos was available as uh, uh, free booking or whatever you call and their waiting was around, uh, <coughs> I think somewhere around 6 months if I am right. I was very specific about uh, when I'll pick up this car and uh, the specific month and the specific day and as of that point of time the Seltos was not on road and uh, hence I thought that um, the Kicks is the best choice I was not very keen on Duster and um, also the fact that uh, you would have seen my uh, video about why I picked up this car and how I made the decision um, since then uh, that is um, 2019 uh, July till now the car has run about 15,000 kilometers slightly more than 15,000 kilometers and I thought like let me give you um, my impression about being a owner of a Nissan Kicks 2019 model uh, this is a XV pre mono uh, model uh, this is kind of like a top of the line uh, there is one more version on top of it which is uh, XV pre duo I guess which is a dual color variant uh, I didn't like the options there so I just went for the mono which is this blue and I got my uh, top wrapped with the matte black which kind of makes it the duo tone. Uh, the overall uh, impressions about the car is I personally say it's 5 star. I've never had any issues with the car. Uh, it's perfect if you want to use it for daily commute to office or whatever. It's very good if you want to do a intra-city um, drive with family uh, in traffic or without traffic anything it's very good when it comes to long distance travel I've taken it to the mountains I've taken it to the beach uh, I've driven it in summer winter monsoon all kind of season um, times when I've driven about um, 400 kilometers in a single day there are times when I've driven it in the night uh, so never had any issues touch wood so very happy with that it's very comfortable it's quite powerful, uh, not very powerful, but it's quite powerful. It does not have all those fancy features like the sunroof or uh, heated seats and things like that. So the music system is pretty good. I would not say great, but it's pretty good. The display is okay, okay types, uh, not many features or anything. Thankfully, Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay works in this, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I mean, I can, there is not many fancy features in this car, uh, okay, which would make it stand out. The boot space is fantastic. That's something which I really like because I usually tend tend to carry a lot of luggage. 
um, even if it is just the three of us who is traveling um, during weekends or like even on a long drive i tend to stuff uh, stuff the entire boot space with luggage so i'm i'm very happy there um mileage that's something which is which i love this car for um typically if not for the city drive i uh, end up getting very good mileage uh, on a full tank i finish more than 800 or 900 kilometers and still there is a lot of fuel left and that's a kind of range i get uh, i'm pretty sure in city i'm getting anywhere between 17 to 20 or probably somewhere around that uh, but in in highways i get very good mileage and this is with like three people riding uh, driving in the car and the ac turned on most of the time i'm say like 90% of the time uh, that's kind of the pretty the, the the positive points about this car as i told you there isn't anything that i notice which there isn't anything that i notice which i feel that it is like very bad or anything about the car now if i really have to call out the negative that i faced with this car it is not the car but it is kind of i would say like uh, the dealership or the service experience not that i have had a bad experience with the service but the availability of the service center itself is my bigger issue because the dealer from whom i uh, picked up my car uh, within one year uh, during the lockdown time the first lockdown time uh, he shut shop so that service center was closed which was quite close to my house the one where i give now or rather where i'm giving it since last two and a half years for service or any repairs uh, i'll come to the repairs part of it in just a bit but uh, where i'm giving uh, over the last two and a half years is about 25 kilometers away from my house it's quite far uh, there were a couple of instances where i went and dropped it and uh, i got it back myself but if it is a service i generally pick a, generally opt for a, a pick up and drop at, at at a very nominal cost uh, but again there isn't anything scattered across the city especially here in bangalore uh, that's something which i'm not really happy about because if there is a problem then i have to drive all the way like 25 kilometers and it's not just a distance the place where it is located it is like you tend up it tend to take up like somewhere around 2 hours to reach there and you almost lose about 4 to 5 hours in driving itself now sorting out the issue is a different thing altogether but driving itself i lose almost entire day traveling rather i mean so that's something which i'm not really happy about uh, recently i saw it in saw on instagram that uh, nissan india has posted uh, telling that they have added more dealership and service centers and all i commented on their post asking like have you added more service centers here in bangalore they told that go into the website you'll see a lot of dealership that does not answer my question because on the website i don't see anything extra than what i was what is already there so there are only a couple of dealerships here uh, and i think there are about two or three service centers across the bangalore if i am right uh, maybe i'll check and i'll post it as a overlay on top of this video but again the service center availability is something which i'm not really happy about the car is still in warranty and that uh, prevents me from giving anywhere outside because something i give it outside for service and something goes wrong i don't want to end up in trouble because there are a lot of uh, third party uh, service centers uh, like the mahindra first choice uh, which i'm pretty sure they are uh, well versed in uh, nissan cars because i've seen a uh, quite a lot of nissan micra and uh, terranos in mahindra first choice uh, which is quite close to my house i'm not really sure um, i mean after the third year mark if i'll really go and give it there or whatever but um, availability of the service center is something which i'm not at all happy and that should be something which you should think twice or thrice before picking up any nissan i mean again any nissan as in like there are couple of models in market now which is the the latest um, nissan kicks which is a 2020 model and also there is magnite which is running pretty well and it's a very good car from what i've seen so just look at the availability of the service center near your house um, based on that take a decision if it is too far it's up to you i don't want to drive the decision now talking about the service or the repair part of it uh, service experience has been good um, all thanks to surya nissan uh, but the repair thing is something again it's not something to do with surya nissan but uh, there were two incidents uh, in the last probably one and a half year um, so 
first of the incident was when there was kind of like a freak accident that happened right in front of my house. Uh, my Amazon delivery vehicle came and banged my car from back uh, and uh, damaged the complete back glass and I had to get it replaced. So I had to drive it all the way up to the service center. Thankfully, the glass was in stock and they could do it uh, within I think a day if I'm right. The cleanup took, the, the glass pieces cleanup took some time but uh, they replaced it pretty quickly. The second incident was when um, I had parked my car uh, on the other side of the road for a few days and I took out my car on one fine morning and I noticed that there are like a whole lot of uh, errors that are getting displayed on the dashboard. Everything related to electronics failure, ABS failure and things like that. Uh, I was shocked like, because I was never used to seeing such uh, errors on the dashboard. So I was shocked as to what is happening. Then I tried to start my car uh, and I realized that um, the brakes are not working. I immediately called up the service center. Uh, they asked me to check few things. I did all those stuff. Uh, and that's where it uh, led to the point where I realized rats or the rodents in front of my house, they had managed to um, cut the ABS cables, both the cables, in fact, the, the front right and left cables, they had damaged it and um, the car was like not in a driving condition uh, because the brakes were not working, the complete electronics, the, the wiring had to be changed. So I had to uh, get my vehicle towed uh, to the service center, the same one which is, as I told you, which is like around 25 kilometers from my house. Uh, thankfully, as my car is in warranty, the towing was covered in that. Um, the problem with this particular issue was that uh, this cable are not something which gets damaged or uh, replaced pretty frequently. Uh, hence, they had to uh, raise a request with the factory get it, uh, procure it and then replace it. It took about like three or four days time, uh, but I got it, uh, everything went fine. So those were the two incidents. So it was not really a problem with the car actually. Uh, it was because of external factors that I had to send it to uh, repair. So overall, again, as I say, touch wood, I never had any issues with the car and uh, it's been doing really well. And um, after, as I said, like after driving about 15,000 plus kilometers, my impression about this car is very positive. I definitely rate it very high. Uh, I don't want to compare it with what is there in the competition because they have their own positives and negatives. But uh, considering that I own it and I drive it kind of like every day, I can confidently say that it's a fantastic car and it's definitely worth your money. Uh, the only thing, as I told you, is uh, please look out for the dealership more than dealership the service center availability close to your place before picking up this car because Nissan historically has not been very uh, reputable when it comes to service center availability there are third party ones but at least like the first three years you want to rely on the company service center itself so that's my uh, quick uh, owner experience I would say 15,000 kilometers owner experience of driving a Nissan kicks 2019 model it's a diesel uh, xp pre mono uh, model uh, hope you um, learned something from it hope it was helpful if you have any questions uh, please uh, comment below so that i can pick them up and i can respond there or make another video about it if there isn't anything else then thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time uh, until then take care bye bye